What's going on guys, back for day number 18 of the Merch Focus 30 series. Today I wanna to show you guys a few of the unique ways that I'm finding design inspiration. And I think this is really gonna be valuable to you guys. I haven't seen anyone else talking about um, this kind of uh, you know, way to, to do research and find some cool, interesting niches and ideas. Um, so let's just get into it. So uh, what I actually found the other day is, you know, they're again, they're going reiterating this. There's some days where you feel like you've gone through a lot of the niches that you uh, would normally think about and you need some kind of alternative ways to find um, inspiration. Now, normally in the past, I've talked about using tools like Merch Informer um, and in a bunch of different ways. I'll, I'll put a link to the other video I talk about um, how to do this in the description, but um, one really cool area I like to find designs is um, from the pins, patches, and bumper stickers uh, kind of space. So what I mean by that is if you guys want to take a look, what, I'll, what I found the other day is if I just go over to Google, and I actually found this, I'll show you guys really quick, but again in the, on the Amazon main page here, they have this explore area at the top that always has kind of these unique just different products that are put in here. And the other day I was scrolling through this and I actually found they had some really just cool different pins and patches actually listed in here. I'm just gonna do a quick scroll and see if I can find any of them. I mean, there you see like one, that's very simple. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm not gonna spend too much time. Here's a little pin, Planet Express. Um, but you know, what I saw essentially got me thinking like, well, what if I take a look at pins and patches, I know that's a big thing right now and people are very into that stuff. So let's just see what's out there. So I went over to Google and you guys can do the exact same search um, for pins. Um, the search result that came up for me was this website, Pinmart, but there are tons and tons of other places to do this. And I don't know much about this actual space. Um, so, you know, uh, Take a look. Let me know what you guys find. I'd love to hear like what other cool websites you find for pins, patches, and everything else, um, and where you guys find inspiration. But I'll just show you guys. You know, I went on Pin Mart the other day, and I just think that it's a really good way for you to just step into something that has such a broad, broad like um, selection of different types of products and niches. And again, guys, this is just for you to kind of get your your mind jump started. What are some cool things that you're not normally exposed to or thinking about, but that uh, might end up leading you to a really untapped niche on Amazon um, that you could then find and create designs or give like some kind of inspiration to your designers. So um, just scrolling through here, you're gonna notice there's tons and tons of just super, super different ideas. Um, you can even dig into just dip the different kind of niches that they've already segmented. And you're gonna find obviously there's some that you know you wanna maybe be careful with. Like if this were a Corona bottle, I'd stay away from it. But um, look, this is food, so you have some pretty generic stuff. Let me see if I can find some cooler ones. So like what I was just looking at the main page here the other night and just thinking, you know, something like this, for example, downward facing frog pin. You go search that on TM Hunt and obviously USPTO, make sure that that trade that's not trademarked in any way, either the design or the image. But something like that's going to get me thinking, OK, like maybe I can do shirts centered around the yoga theme or maybe specifically the keyword downward facing dog or maybe something around frogs and that's something I would not have thought of in the first place but now kind of my my mind is thinking like how can I take that and spin it off into something else now I obviously again I'm always going to reiterate this we're not copying the designs that these designers have created but we're taking that as some kind of inspiration and you know putting our own touches on that or giving it to our designer as a piece of um, kind of the puzzle when they go to create other designs. So um, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, you can scroll through and look at all of these different ones here. And so we see another frog one as well. And then the other one, which I already kind of mentioned, is patches. Very similar, but that is a very... Um, it's very in right now and it's and a lot of people are collecting patches or just finding kind of these cool patches to design. And it's just something that um, again, guys, take to Google, do a quick search for patches. You're going to find all kinds of websites. Um, and normally, a lot of times, the pins and patches are both kind of intermingled on uh, websites like this one. So we have, you know, kind of a money bag theme. So that could be a motivation, whatever it is. 
Um, you know, I like something like this instigator that could be, you know, I don't, again, it's, I don't know, but I, that's a keyword we could then take and go over to, you know, something like merch informer where we've done a lot of our keyword research to pull on that and see like, okay, what other shirts are there for the keyword instigator? Um, same deal for something like this, maybe like get rich quick. Um, you know, normally that's kind of a, an online business principle or something like that, but maybe we could take kind of something similar to this theme and kind of um, use that as a keyword and make some kind of uh, punny or, uh, you know, joke oriented t-shirt. So again, guys, I'm just freestyling on this and letting you guys know like some of the thought processes, processes that I have. Um, but I wanted to share this with you guys because I'm trying to keep all of the things that I've been doing this last month to find designs and find like cool strategies um, that are going to kind of set you apart from everyone else selling on merch. Um, and so, yeah, I want to make sure like if I found value out of this, I want to pass it on to you guys. So anyway, a uh, quick video today, but please let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any other like cool niches or spaces like pins, patches that you guys um, find design inspiration. I'd love to hear that and let me know down in the comments below and um, Obviously guys, I'll put links to um, You know any tools the Facebook group in the description and I'll actually link to the two websites I was just on the pins uh, Pin Mart and then this website uh, strange ways that I was able to find some kind of cool unique inspirations as well um, So that you guys can take a look at those and with that guys I'm gonna let you go, but we'll see you back tomorrow for the next video of the merch focus 30 cheers